Okay, so my buddy Ryan from the Kilowatts is a really good rapper, and I've actually experienced a couple of his raps, and it's it's kind of it's kind of impressive actually. So I'm gonna go try and learn how to rap from him today, and uh, yeah, so I'm I'm gonna go to a studio and and actually learn a thing or two about rapping. Let's go. What's up, dude? Welcome. You gonna teach me how to rap today? Hell yeah. Awesome, let's go. Got a garage full of cars today. Full house. Yeah, so you know I rent my cars out and uh, basically some guy got the rear dented and uh, a couple months ago someone dented the door in their own garage, so. I saw that on your store. Some of you like trashed your car. Yeah. So, you know, it happens when the rentals. Fortunately, it wasn't significant, but just replaced a couple of panels and repair them, and uh, we're back in business. But obviously, I've got to make them look orange again. Yeah. How'd you learn how to do this? Just by doing it. I, uh, I unwrapped uh, I unwrapped my original Model 3, my first Model 3, and then uh, realized it shouldn't be that hard. So I uh, started watching some YouTube videos on it, and uh, that was it. Just learn by doing. There's a uh, this little part here that got pinched, so I'm gonna heat up and see if I can get that crease out. So how do you know where to like cut it? Um, you cut it with a razor blade, like the handle? Yep, yep, so the handle will actually come out through it raised, but and be careful where you actually rub your hand, because you can create bubbles, and the bubbles are the hardest part to get out. That's why you want to get this so tight uh. initially, is just so you can get all the bubbles out. Okay, so what's going on here? So because I had to put my fingers in here, it stretched a bit too much, but if you just apply a little bit of heat, it'll come right out. That's like pretty magical. Like new. A bubble like this, and you just keep on pressing on it, it's slowly working on it, and the air will just find its way out to where you can just. So it's like a porous wrap. Like it's not even there. Yeah. That's so sweet. I think it looks great, dude. What what's uh what's the next step? Well just to secure it in place, we just gotta apply a little bit of heat. Wait, what? Yeah, just gonna heat it up. Oh, that's crazy. Should be good.
All right, that's a done door. So Ryan, why do you find it necessary to wrap your cars? And like, do you see uh, like a benefit to doing so? I mean, I like how it makes them just a little bit different, a little unique. You know, Tesla sells so many cars, especially here in California. Uh, you can be driving down the road and think you're seeing your own car. And so this helps them stand out. So are you pretty much done with wrapping cars? Like you've wrapped all of your cars to this point? No, I mean, uh, the black Mustang that you saw the other day, I'm probably gonna wrap that soon. I don't know what color yet, but you should join me. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for, for teaching me how to rap today. You bet. You made it look easy. I know it's probably very difficult, but you know, I, I kind of feel like trying it maybe one day. So, yeah. appreciate it, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Later. See ya. I had the chance to help Ryan wrap a portion of his car today, and it was actually really awesome. It, he made it look really easy, but like in reality, he's done it a bunch of times. So, you know, you have to know what you're doing. But uh, yeah, you know, it's 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 more achievable than I thought. I mean, actually doing it a little bit. So, I might consider wrapping my car someday in the future. But um, for now, I, I like to keep everything stock. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow.